I'm Madeline Sinto, and this week on The Daily's Top 10, I'll be counting down the top 10 most sexist commercials of the 50s and 60s. Oh, I didn't know anything about the gold standard, I'm afraid, but I do love little kittens. Don't worry, the flowers and her marriage both end up safe in this Folgers ad. <clears throat> this coffee is criminal. Honey, you killed the petunias. Then you admit it. Your coffee really is murder. Putting a woman behind the wheel of a car? How absurd. Polyglass means more than mileage when your wife has to drive alone. She can't do much, but thanks to Xerox, she doesn't need to. I can't type. I don't take dictation. I won't sharpen pencil. I can't file. My boss calls me indispensable. Miss Jones. Just a minute. Will you make a copy of this? Naturally. I push the button on the Xerox 914. Leading with that's a woman for you is always a good sign. That's a woman for you. I ask her to get my shirts whiter. What does she call this whiter? That's just like a man. How can I get his shirts as white as he wants? Unless I bleach the life out of them. Honey, if you're going to work, you better have a secret baking habit to back it up. Every woman needs to be herself at times. Your answer? Baking. Baking good, baking often with gold medal flour. Finally, a soda company offering useful advice to women. Be in his mind. Be a mind sticker with a shape he can't forget. Don't you want to have a good shape? He wants you with a good shape. Shape with tab. And we have another commercial warning women about the marital dangers of bad coffee. It's a hazard, people. Wonderful anniversary, dear, and thank you for the flowers. You're welcome, darling. But if you could do one thing for me. What? Try to do something about your coffee. I hoped it would be better today. I don't blame these women. How could they resist a cat call from a man with greased hair? When Charlie sees a lovely girl, a girl like yours or mine, he uses a whistle, a wink, and wild roots. It gets her every time. Competitive sports apparently included purse shopping in 1957. I wish I was shopping then. And she engaged in competitive sports. Very competitive sports. Did someone say for coat payments, sweetie, you go and buy that Volvo? She might like knowing you're getting a car that in most cases lasts long enough to get people out of new car payments and into new furniture payments or swimming pool payments or fur coat And there you have it, the good old days. What should we count down next? Leave a comment and let us know. Just about an hour ago, I got you fired. What did you do that for? I figured that being my wife would take up all of your time. 